Hey guys! You loved our cat cake so much that we thought we'd give you a little tutorial on how to make this cute character or animal cakes. Let's break it down using two of our past orders, Totoro and a little Dino. Let's dive in! Since our cake fillings are quite delicate and soft, we assemble such tall cakes using a two-tier cake principle. Basically, it's a hidden two-tier cake held together with skewers. So, we've got two cakes here, each 7 inches in diameter and 4 inches tall, stacked on top of each other. That gives us a final height of almost 4 inches. This setup allows our customers to choose two different flavors for their cake, which is always a win-win. By the way, we are currently pre-registering for our basic course. I've left the link for you below the video. If you want to learn how to assemble delicious and beautiful cakes like ours, just click the link and get on the waiting list. Now, onto the cake prep. We trim the top of the cake layer without touching the dams, since the filling may leak out if we damage them. As you can see, the cake board is wide and sturdy, providing good support. We start by crumb coating the cake using an offset spatula and cake scraper. For crumb coating, we always use an uncolored frosting. Already from this stage, we start shaping and smoothing the round top using a piece of acetate film. Let's talk more about that. We use cake edge acetate film. Ours is 4 inches wide and 200 microns thick. Be aware, its thickness is an essential thing. There are thinner and narrower films available, but they don't hold their shape well. You can see our film holds its shape nicely. Alternatively, you can buy a pastry acetate sheet and cut it into pieces. It's cheaper than buying a whole roll of film. You can also find pre-cut strips of edge film. So, the length of the film strip needs to be specifically tailored to the size of your cake. For us, it's approximately 4 and a half inches. If the strip is too long, its ends will catch onto the cake. That's why we initially cut it a bit longer and then optimized the length by trimming off the excess. Hold the film strip somewhat like a cake scraper. Maintain the position of your fingers and only move with your hand. Keep your fingers wide apart to allow the film to bend smoothly. Practice this technique. Gradually build up the frosting on the top to make it more rounded. For this design, two types of frostings work well. Ganache, we used it to cover Totoro, and buttercream, which we used for Dino. Let me tell you about ganache first. Honestly, it's our favorite for covering these kinds of cakes, and there are several reasons for that. Ganache, according to our recipe, is very convenient to color. It can be colored with any type of colorings, oil-based, water-based, dry or gel. After adding the coloring, it must be blended. We have a mini course on our ganache recipe. Visit our school's website. I leave the link for you below the video. The recipe is truly wonderful. Also, ganache sets a bit slower. This is especially relevant for beginners. It takes time to figure out how to hold the acetate sheet correctly, what hand movements to make. In general, it's much easier to create such rounded shapes with ganache. If there are any imperfections on the cake, you can easily scrape off the excess ganache. It's easy and convenient to adjust. You can correct such coverage as much as you want. You can fill in all the tiny holes and imperfections. It's such an excellent speckling for the cake. The texture of ganache is mud and beautiful. Look, at the end of smoothing, we even did a kind of carving, scraped off the ganache at the base of the Totoro cake to make it look slightly rounded at the bottom. Ganache easily allows you to perform such elements. And most importantly, the color of the ganache remains consistent. No spots, even if we applied and layered it many times. Look at the coverage of Totoro. Perfect. From afar, it looks like fondant. Agree? Now, let's take a look at Dino. We covered it with buttercream, and it turned out cute as well. The main advantage of buttercream is that its coast is exactly half that of ganache, but specifically, in this design, it has a few drawbacks. Buttercream sets faster than ganache, so, especially for beginners, it can be challenging to work with. 
Movements must be precise. When you want to adjust something, buttercream starts to stretch with a cake scraper with each additional touch. It takes longer to chill it to make adjustments. It's harder to fill in small holes and smooth the cake. Buttercream has little meringue bubbles inside, so when smoothing, small spots or streaks may become visible. If you press too hard or mix too vigorously, the meringue bubbles burst, slightly altering the color. But this is noticeable only up close. From a distance, the cake looks beautiful and even. Moreover, these imperfections can simply be considered part of its charm. The cake has a creative and slightly vintage look, which I also love. Moving on. Now that we are familiar with the nuances of working with two frostings, let's talk about the large details. We make them from cake pops dough, for example, dinner's tail. We sized it using a baking ring in which we baked the cake. We trimmed it, applied it to the cake and covered it with frosting. For Totoro, we also made little cute Susuwatari Asut sprites out of cake pops dough, similar to cake pops. We dipped them in a liquid mixture used to velvet the cakes and coated them with black shredded coconut. We always decorate such cakes not with fondant, but with modeling chocolate. Soon we'll have a mini course on it too, so stay tuned to our website, its advantages are endless. It doesn't melt or sweat in the fridge, it's quicker to work with as it sets rapidly, unlike fondant. You don't need to spend time drying it, you can decorate the cake in advance and it will stay perfectly stored in the fridge without sweating, and of course it's very tasty. Oh, and I forgot to mention one big advantage of ganache. Large details stick to it much better than any other frosting, and it's much easier to attach them. Look at how incredibly cute our cakes turned out! I hope this video was helpful for you, and you learned at least a couple of new tricks and professional secrets. Visit our school's website for new lessons and sign up for our basic cake baking course. All the links are below the video. This was Nastasia and Telegon Sweets. Bye-bye! Until next time!